I am Dr. Tahseen Zahra, co-PI of Pakistan Gender Text. Pak Gender Text is a resource that provides gender-based corpus to the researchers in Pakistan as well as abroad. Future researchers can use the corpus to conduct diverse kinds of studies on the languages used by men and women in Pakistan. Language policy makers can use this corpus as an evidence to design, change and modify language practices in Pakistan. The corpus contains diverse examples of gender-based language usage which can be used for diverse purposes because Park Gen Text contains texts from diverse genres including academic, newspaper and spoken genres. Moreover, the text can be used in other academic fields as well such as genre studies and academic writing. Park Gen Text contains diverse texts that can be used to address social issues it can be useful for psychologists, sociologists, and uh, language scientists and linguists. Since the corpus will be uploaded online, it will give visibility to Pakistani languages. It can be useful to identify and analyze the languages from the perspective of world Englishes. I'm Tariq Amin. I'm working on the project Pakistan Text proposed by Carpus Research Center here University of Islamabad as a research assistant under the supervision of Professor Dr. Vasim Ashazad and Dr. Tehseen Zahra. I learned how to build Carpus and how to clean it. Overall, it is an interesting experience that may lead to other studies of the languages of Pakistan. I learned about the corpus theory, cleaning process, corpus building, and different corpus uh, analysis tool. In um, Park Gen Text, I contributed in the newspaper data of the corpus. I collected opinion articles related to COVID-19 written by both genders in different Pakistani English newspapers like Dawn, the News International, the Express Tribune. My name is Amma Malik and I am an Enfield Scholar at A University, Islamabad. I am affiliated with the English department over here. Being a student of Corpus Linguistics, we are studying gender differences. And gender differences within Corpus Linguistics is a very novel idea and I feel greatly privileged being part of this study. My contribution in this study has been in the data collection which we have collected from research articles in the areas of social sciences and hard sciences. We will save uh, the title of the text. After that, we shall save the URL of the text, name of the writer, and we will give a code to the text file and number of words will be saved. We shall copy the text in a word file and then paste it in text fixer to remove its line breaks and paragraph breaks. Now you can see that paragraph breaks and line breaks are removed. We will copy the text and again save it in text file. Now the file will be saved again as a text file in a plain text or .txt format and other encoding will be selected that is UTF-8. If we talk about the written data, it is, it is comprised of uh, academic discourse which contains PhD thesis and MPhil research proposal. The total corpus size is 4,717,587 words. If we talk about media discourse, it contains book reviews, newspaper articles, magazine articles, editorials, and uh, newspaper blogs. And the total corpus size is 1,017,809 words. The total uh, written, written corpus size is 6,942,101 words. If we talk about spoken data, it contains synopsis defense presentation and classroom lectures. And the total corpus size for the spoken discourse is 153,000 and 149 words. 
So the total purpose size is seven million ninety six thousand and three hundred words.